Hello, AP Orchestra. Happy Tuesday. Um, I'm going into our assignments folder here and then our black distance learning folder for our assignment today. Alexa, off. Sorry, I forgot to, that I had the music on. Um, I like listening to music. Crazy, huh? Um, go to our assignments folder for 519. It's the pinkish folder. And then in there is our written instructions. We'll start with Site Rigging Factory for measure assignment for participation points. Um, and then in Smart Music, we'll continue our work with Afterburn. Loading, 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 loading. You will be assigned, here's the violin one part, measure 49 all the way to 85. Okay, and that's right on here, 49 to 85. Be due um, at the end of the day on Wednesday, May 20th. Okay, um, 49 to 57 kind of goes back to the original theme um, from the beginning. Okay, um, and just kind of restates that theme. And then in 57, we start going into that more legato flowy theme. Now, um, Violin One, you guys have long dogged half note melodies throughout this whole thing. Again, think legato, smooth bowing. Okay, um, Violin Two, I'm going to switch over to that part. Violin two is the same thing for the first chunk, 57 up until 70-something. Um, I don't remember exactly off the top of my head. It's taking a while to load. Um, here we go. At 57, they have the, those um, kind of longer melodies that the violin ones have as well. But then at 73, it goes into these eighth notes. da 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 <laughs> Excuse me. Um, but those eighth notes are deceptively tricky because for some measures they're the same and then all of a sudden they throw in something that's different. Okay. So um, really be on your toes as you're going through and be ready for those changes in um, the notes. Okay. Um, viola and uh, well, viola really um, alternates between the legato and the more articulate kind of pulse type um, rhythm of the piece. Da, 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 da. Okay, I'm going to show you that right here. Do you know sticky settings are here? It's pretty cool. Um, do, 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 do. So that, you have kind of those smooth, flowy parts. Um, but then all of a sudden you have da, 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 It's flowy again. Do, 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 Okay. Um, so think about how this like kind of smooth, flowy, long note stuff should contrast with the fast articulations. Notice where there's accents. Okay, that'll be a good hint for you. Um, and then cello, rhythmic pattern, um, one, two, and three, one, two, and three. I'll kind of show you that. Violin cello. Do, do, do. I know, I love loading. Logan's my favorite. Okay. Pretty repetitive, Noah, but it kind of goes with the chord changes. Okay, this is G major, um, and then we go to D. We outline the D chord, which is the fifth chord. Okay, and this rhythm is outlining that. And then at like seventy three, you go to double stops. Okay, um, so let me know if you guys have any questions. Of course, I'm always available through email or phone um, 952-707-2841. I'm also happy to set up a Zoom session if you'd like. Just let me know. Oh, enjoy my Zoom card game session on Wednesday. All right. Uh, I'll be back with another assignment with you guys on Thursday. Let me know if you have any questions. And have a great day. Bye, everyone.